welcome back to our course SFT and BMD this is class number 24 in the last class that is class number 23 I think around two weeks earlier I told I will give some gap so that all can thoroughly go through all the classes learn all the basic requirements which is which I called pre-requirement and be ready for SF and BM how many of you have actually gone through and thoroughly understood that is I don't know because it is left to you if you want to get a knowledge you should follow what I tell so I assume that all the viewers are thorough in all the basic concept that is a pre-requirement now class 24 finally see I wrote here basic concepts of shearing post and bending moment so finally in this course we are using the word SF and BM. See, SF means shearing force. Usually we call shear force. Every time we will not call shearing force, shear force. BM is bending moment, but not moment. Shearing force, not force. Bending moment, not moment. This I told you. The difference I will tell you later. Now, first I will tell basic concept, one by one. Then I will tell sign convention. I will, after the basic concepts are over, I will take an example and tell very clearly how SF and BM will be developed will for the beam. But what will be the effect on the beam will be discussed a little later. Now see, first I told each and every member will be in equilibrium. That is the most important. So, before you calculate SF for BM or axial force and torsion they are all called I told section forces I will tell once again section forces there are four section forces one axial force two shearing force three bending moment And fourth one, torsional moment. Or sometimes people call torsh, torque, anything. These are the four section forces. Now, our course will be shearing force and bending moment. Briefly, I will tell about this one. This one little later. We start. First, before you find section forces, the most important is, first, you have to ensure equilibrium. Equilibrium already we discussed. Further I cannot tell. Member should neither move nor rotate. We are discussing coplanar structure. That is beams here. So equilibrium conditions are sigma Fx0 or sigma H0, sigma Fy0, that is sigma V0 and sigma M0. About any point you can take moment. Now see, first I will start one by one from axial force. I got a small model here. I will apply a force here for this one. See, it is moving. You can see this is moving. There is no effect here. See, if I apply here, nothing will happen to this one. It will move. See, finally, after some time, it will come and touch the board here. See, now it has got a support. Now, if I apply further force, it will not move. Displacement is prevented. From there, you get a reaction like this. Now this member is subjected to a force this way what I am applying and a reaction from the support there this way or I will turn and write here to understand see any one side one force this way and one force this way. Suppose I call this as P this also P. Now for equilibrium, see, right side P, left side P, it will balance each other. So, member is in equilibrium. But, or one more thing you can tell, when I apply a force here, see, the load or force is transferred to support. But, what will happen to member? If nothing happens to member, it will receive the force here and transfer there or beam receives force from slab, then transfers to column, column transfers to footing. If only transfer is the criteria, 
then why you want huge size of beams huge size of columns all not required any size will do no loads are received by every member loads are received somewhere and then transferred to supports but during this process the members cross section is subjected to suction forces axial force shearing force bending moment and torsional moment once again i will show you now see axial force compression or tension then shearing force i got model ready here for shear force see this way after that one bending moment or it can be this way we'll discuss later lastly twisting moment these cannot be transferred they should be resisted by the cross section how the cross section will resist it it's a separate chapter like stresses and strains for axial force shear stress and bending stress for shear force bending moment and stresses due to torsion later and they will be deformation that all we are not discussing here we our main concern here is how to find sf and bm and how to draw sfd and bmd so now if i take a section here see that is cross section see what happens now if i look this side a force p acts this way if i look this side a force p acts this way so this cross section is subjected to axial force like this which will compress or this is called axial compression axial compression for the cross section or same way if i take a member apply a force this way and apply a force this way p and p remember both are equal like okay here only see this way then this force will create axial tension axial tension axial tension for the cross section remember all the section forces are resisted by cross section now one wrong version of statement is being used everywhere i don't know why they are using it so many places they will tell the section forces axial force shearing force bending moment and torsional moment they are all external actually people tell internal especially for shearing force bending moment they tell internal same people for axial force they tell sometime external what contradictory statements none of them are internal they are all external but what they are telling is correct it is resisted by cross section so resistance to the section forces is internal but how it acts or from where it comes that is from external let later i will ask the question once again now tell me even though it is not a live class you can tell now tell me do you agree with me or not that suction forces are external not internal at that time 100% even those who are who are all these state telling internal they will suddenly tell yes correct it is external but internal what of course it is no doubt effect is internal only but i will give some example for you why it is external okay one minute now leave it so this is called axial tension compression so this together is called axial force axial force it can be tension compression see when you want axial force for the cross section you look only one side do not look both sides if you look both sides see right side p left side p here left side p right side p it will cancel each other net force becomes zero that is equilibrium when you want suction force you have to look only one side just for example i will tell you you stand here over the head you put a weight of 50 kg you are see when you apply 50 kg weight on your head see i am telling kg now because why universally kg on your head the load will be transferred to ground see you are applying down 50 kg here from ground up reaction will come see from here 50 kg down from here 50 kg up this 50 kg down or 50 kg up will produce compression how much compression not 100 kg 
compression is 50 kg only. Why? From one side you are applying a force, other side balancing force will come. The act, one of them you can take action, other you can take reaction. Action and reaction together will keep the member in equilibrium and will create suction force for the cross action. It is all, all these four are for cross action. So later, when I tell SF and BM, I will tell sometimes shearing force at C, bending moment at D. But before that, I will tell if I write shearing force at C, it actually means shearing force for the cross action of beam at C. And if I tell bending moment at D, actually means bending moment for the cross action of the beam at D. That way you have to read, I will tell you later. Now, this is regarding axial force. So when you want axial force, what you have to do? First, ensure equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium established. Consider cross action. Look only one side. Look this side. A force P. Never use direct. See, when you want equilibrium, right side, left side. Zero, net force. Left side, right side. Left, right or right, left will come. For section force, left, right should never come. Direction is not to be used. Nature. See here. I will tell by using hand only, I will tell. If I take a cross section here, see. Compression. If I take, consider cross section here, see my hand. Tension. Section, if you want to explain equilibrium to anybody, you can use only one hand. See. Right side force, left side force, upward force, downward force, clockwise moment, anti-clockwise moment. But when you want to explain section force, one hand you cannot explain. One hand you can't give compression. See, you require both the hands. Compression, tension. Or shearing force. One hand, can you bend? See, no. Bending moment. This only will tell it is external. See, this only will tell it is external. See here. And one hand, can you twist? Suppose you dip a cloth in water and want to remove the water. Can you remove this way? No. See, twisting moment. Or you can observe one thing. For section force, either side, Direction should be opposite. Of course, we don't use the word direction there. But if you see the direction, it should be always opposite direction on either side. So one statement will come later. Opposite direction on either side gives same nature. In the class, I will ask sometimes. Okay, now tell me. Opposite directions on either side gives same nature, same way. Same direction on either side gives what? Students will tell, sir, opposite nature. I will tell, sorry, it gives nonsense. Remember, it's not in equilibrium. It will not create section force. Opposite direction on either side gives same nature. We will never get the case of same direction on either side. It will not come when member is in equilibrium. Okay, now, this is regarding axial force. I told you, if you want axial force, what you do? You take a cross section, consider only one side. See, suppose you look this side. P, compression, or look this side. P, compression, or this member, for any cross section, the axial force is compressive force of P, same way here, tensile force of P. Later, for the beams, sometimes one or two problems, I will even draw axial force diagram. At that time, you require this concept. So, but our main purpose or course is SF and BM. But this much I have to tell. This much I have to tell. Or I will give a very simple example for section force. Practical example. Easiest to understand money matter. Sometimes people tell my students, when you tell money matters, sir, everything is clear. Simple one. See, imagine Two, two people are required here. See, imagine one of them is I, me only, I, and my friend, my friend. 
ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಇಮ್ ನಾವು ಮನಿ ಯುನಿಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಯುನಿಟ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಡಾಲರ್ ಪೌಂಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿನಾರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಸಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ then later he will give me back 100 rupees equilibrium is maintained i gave 100 rupees he gave back 100 rupees so therefore matter is quit closed net is zero now see equilibrium maintained why 100 rupees i gave he gave back 100 rupees okay matter is closed now my transaction is 100 rupees his transaction is 100 rupees suppose you ask what is the transaction between you two you don't tell 200 rupees you tell 100 rupees only why only one side how much i gave him today later that much he gave back or other way he received 100 rupees earlier later i received 100 rupees okay so you can tell what either see tension compression like that you can tell i gave 100 rupees later he gave me back 100 rupees see both are giving see both are giving he gave me back 100 rupees so equilibrium is maintained account closed so transaction is 100 rupees not 200 rupees or he received 100 rupees he will tell from me later i received 100 rupees from him see like tension so transaction is 100 rupees only so answer is what 100 rupees transaction it can be taken i giving him or he giving back or he taking from me or i taking back that is simple example you may tell what is this money matter but think a little transaction is not 200 transaction is 100 only or if i stand here if a weight is coming on my head 50 kg i can support no problem reaction will come upward 50 load coming on my body is not 100 kg it is 50 kg from only one side what comes from one side is balanced by other side so together it will compress or this way it will be tension i think that much is sufficient for axial force because directly sfbm i cannot tell this much is sufficient for axial force later i will tell now we will go to sfbm systematically for that what i am doing is today i will take an example and make it crystal clear and today i am not using sign convention and also i am not going to decide what is the way we decide sign later all because first to understand what happens next class will be very powerful sign convention i will make crystal clear for equilibrium and section force equilibrium is separate direction based and there sign convention has no effect on the answer i told you section forces nature based sign convention has very much effect confusion whatever is there i will remove thoroughly next class but today also equally important i will give an example of correctly what is shear force of correctly understanding what is shear force and what is bending moment one minute i will first write a beam here i want reaction for that one that i will not explain because previous classes i explained suppose someone will tell i will tell now only that reaction is not clear if it tells in front of me i will what way i will talk my talking tone will change i will tell him previously that much i explained so that even someone without knowing anything he will understand and you are lazy and not going through it and directly coming to this class and you are expecting me to once again tell it no it is your problem if you are not sincere if you are not covering everything what i told then you are losing see i always believe that way when i tell any concept systematically people have to listen and understand so even now anybody new here i will tell start from class number 1 go up to class 23 thoroughly study delay this one no problem see now today another 2 3 days i will upload another two more classes why 
because i delayed deliberately i delayed so that let more and more people understand basic concept now sufficient now regularly it will come in the beginning for few classes i will upload more classes why balancing or how much missing now i will balance that one now okay now i will start the real concept of sf and bm systematically very thoroughly go through and very thoroughly go through what all i tell in the class okay here starts our sf and bm see consider a beam you can those who want can write everything to understand correctly everything you can write i will dictate see a beam is of length 13 meter it is hinged or pinned at its left end and placed on a horizontal roller at 3 meter from right end so automatically 13 meter is the total length given see this is told 13 meter they told 3 meter from here means it will become 10 meter uh, 10 is calculated by us not given then the beam supports two point loads 60 kilo newton at 4 meter from left end and 40 kilo newton at the right extreme end now what you have to do is correctly understand the concept of shearing force and bending moment see little later you can make out shearing force there are two natures one is see here i will i have turned for you if i turn towards you my left will become your right for me no problem but still to understand see one of the shearing nature is this way left moving up and simultaneously right coming down one shearing second shearing is left coming down right moving up i will cover both of them here what is shear force will be told at the end of that one and then bending moment i told sagging or hogging i will ensure that both will come here that's why i want overhang if that overhang is not taken then what will happen is for two sections i will consider shear force i can change if it comes left up right down here other place it can come left down right up but bending moment both will come sagging no i want hogging now see our question here is or what you are doing here is correctly understand firmly for lifetime the meaning of or concept or fundamentals of shearing force and bending moment for that two sections are to be considered one section i will consider somewhere here see somewhere here i will tell the section will be at anything say 2.4 meter from a 2.4 meter from a means i will call the section as 11 11 it can't be left side why nothing is there to right side and second section i will consider at from the right extreme end i will not take here because if i take here once again shear force same will come the second one is section 22 22 which will be at uh, 4 plus 1.5 5.5 meter one minute now i should ensure that bm is hogging oh, okay bm is hogging i am sure no problem 5.5 meter from right end not 5.5 i'll take 4.5 because if i come too much this side again bm can be sagging no 4.5 meter from right end means from here 3 meter further you have to come inside by 1.5 so one section here one more section will be here you thoroughly understand this behavior or what happens for these two sections lifetime you will not make mistake in sfbm and remember sometime people will tell direct numerical no this is not a problem this is explanation prop actually principle definitions everything i will tell in a systematic way but first you get the correct idea you should know correctly what is sf and bm for that two sections here see first calculation of support reactions note i told so many times earlier before you find sf and bm first you have to ensure equilibrium for the beam i wrote very big there equilibrium start now see some statement you can write if you are interested 
when it is equilibrium you consider action and reaction here action is the 60 and 40 kN reaction will be reaction at a and b from the support to the beam a is hinged support vertical reaction horizontal reaction b is a roller in horizontal plane so reaction at b will be perpendicular to the plane rb will be once again vb then direction for reaction you have to assume this all already over i will assume that va is upward ha is right side and rb equal to vb also upward and again if anybody gets confusion for direction of reaction he, any direction can be assumed if it is wrong negative sign will come go through the previous three classes i will tell that way see don't tell suddenly i become serious i become serious in the classroom also i always always take the class in a happy and jolly mood not what you call is uh, make the face odd way i never take that way but i get angry means i change the expression that is for their benefit only see now i took va upward rb vb upward ha right side any difficulty go through those three classes continuously i taken each and every part by part i explain okay start sigma m equilibrium conditions sigma m about a zero any point you can take about a so remember note those who want right here this is equilibrium conditions therefore direction based only one hand is sufficient this is not your shear force bending moment and moment means about a distance should be from the point a if i tell further you should tell enough then sign our choice you can take whatever you want i will take clockwise positive again i told this sign has no effect on this answer but later SFBM sign has effect that will come in the next class when I compare the two. Start. This into after some time I will stop. Some newcomer will tell what is that dot? I will tell why you are not going to other classes. Study correctly. I told what is that dot? Actually somewhat crude but effective. See. VA into 0, HA into 0. VB into 10 anti-clockwise. 60 into 4 clockwise 40 into 13 clockwise equal to 0 first of all i should not explain this one you get vb plus 76 kilometer sigma v0 upward positive note once again equilibrium so direction based this time not moment only force vertically up you taking plus va plus vb minus 40 minus 60 equal to 0 Substitute VB equal to plus 76, you get VA equal to plus 24 kilometer. Sigma H0, once again note, equilibrium conditions, therefore direction based, only rights horizontal forces plus HA, that's all, equal to 0 for that matter. Even if horizontal load is there, it has no effect on shear force bending moment. It is effectively for axial force. Today we are not interested. Over. Now reactions we got. Now what I am doing is, see, centrally I will put the beam once again neatly and I will enter the reactions. When I enter the reaction, I will not use plus minus sign. I will write in the correct direction. The positive sign we got indicates that direction assumed by us are correct. So at A, I will put upward reaction of 76 kilowatton. At B, I will enter upward reaction of 24 kilowatton. These two action I will write. HA I will not write. I will write all distances. And one more thing, this time I will show the beam not by a line diagram. I will show it like this. In the class I will ask why this way. They will tell, yes sir, we can make out. Because you want to show the shearing effect. See, instead of line diagram, if you see beam here, you can see the depth here. I want to show the depth for some reason. And then there, the two sections I mentioned for you, one section will be at 2.4 meters from here, somewhere here. Second section will be somewhere here. I can take somewhere here, but not required. Because why? The moment you finish 1, 1 and 2, 2, our concept will be over. What I want to achieve or what I want to explain, that will be covered. Then later, after some time, you can do one thing. At the end of the class, I will do one thing. For the same beam, I will give SFDBMD fast without explaining. I will tell, not now, 
leave it now later when the time comes when you or when we consider this overhanging beam all when sfd bmds are drawn there then you come back once again here and finish sfd bmd if you are regular and hard working and dedicated you will tell most probably that i am not drawing such a simple one i can also draw he on that day if you can tell the diagrams are drawn by him very fast now i am also capable of drawing same speed maybe little lesser speed why because i am teaching you are learning any day my speed will be little more than you if your speed is more than me i will be happy i won't feel jealous but i have to judge the people like that still no one came to that level okay now i will clean everything and write write everything here systematically and explain the concept of shearing post bending moment that is now we are going to yes up and bm and no looking back now onwards till the end of the course i told around 100 classes who knows by the time the course is completely over it may exceed 100 maybe another 100 classes okay those who are interested they will go through it and learn my purpose is to give education therefore correctly start now and understand everything told today next class the sign convention and the definitions all i will tell okay now i'll start now now we are ready for sf and bm see i wrote the beam neatly here enter the reaction i'll first consider i write here now consider cross section little later we will not write cross section section cross section 1 1 1 as shown i already told you as shown means what i told earlier a point at a section at 2.4 meter from left end i already told earlier first section 1 1 will be at 2.4 why 2.4 means just like that some distance we require we will take 2.4 now see what happens now see correctly now i will project the point here see this is your section 1 1 very very important understand everything thoroughly now see section 1 1 you either consider left side or right side whichever way whichever side you can consider okay first look left side find the resultant load or force perpendicular to the beam or normal to the beam or along the cross section see later you will be knowing shearing force is always see, along the cross section so if i look left side there is a upward force of 24 kilo newton see today's class i am not using any plus minus sign today's class will be pakka basic concept complete basic concept okay now left side is 24 now look right side actually if I, someone asks me to look right side i will not look right side when left side is 24 up i will write directly right side is 24 down then only equilibrium is maintained but still for understanding see if i see right side this side in force of 60 kn down see i'll put separately 60 kn down one more force of 40 kn down and another force of 70 kn up or 60 plus 40 is 100 So down 76 up means it will be how much it will be 24 kilo newton down now these all these three together it will give 24 kn down now what will happen is if you consider the cross section here this 24 kn will have a tendency see this section to move it up by 24 kilo newton and this 24 kilo newton this side will have a tendency to move it down it will not succeed actually if it succeeds to move then who want to be in that building where that beam is there beam will not get cut tendency see if i apply axial compression it will be compressed but you can see see here nothing happened or beam this shearing bending you cannot see you have to imagine so this will have tendency to move the beam down see here 
this way by down 24 km this is called shearing action or the force responsible for this is called shearing force for the cross section at 11 therefore you either look left side or right side i told you for section forces you have to look only one side so and one more thing i told they should be equal and opposite yes see now see the effect now now the tendency of this forces if i take section 11 will be left side see left it will try to push the left side up and then simultaneously right down when left is moving up right has to come down see? it can't go up both it is not called shearing see this way so therefore now i can tell that by this conclusion i can tell this is section 11 11 see therefore shearing force sf short form shearing force for cross section at 11 is how much any side you look here no sign today 24 kilo newton somebody will ask what type in the bracket right see left going up right coming down is the shearing force this is a shearing force for this cross section here okay now now consider section 2 to bending moment i will come later after this one i will write here now consider consider cross section 2 to as shown as shown see actually i have to project i cannot project because i already used the space here so i will write here if you want you can do one thing you come down 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 here and somewhere here right here if you want so this is your cross section 2 okay now look right side if i look right side here there's a downward force of 40 and upward 76 so i'll put here now see if i look this side a downward 40 40 kn and upward of 76 kn that means a net force resultant force of 76 kN act sorry uh, 36 kN correct uh, that is correct 36 kN calculate the problem 36 kN because of these two it is equal to a single force of 36 kN up if i look this side i don't have to look directly i can put down of 36 kN but anyway to understand see if i look left side here don't see 11 now up 24 down 60 so up of 24 and down of 60 unit i am not writing so 60 down 24 up means 36 down that means if you discuss now further section 2 to what will happen is the right side force right side portion will this 36 km have a tendency to move the right side portion upward direction by 36 km and this 36 will try to move the left side portion of the section 2 to in the downward direction of 36 km that means the shearing force here is right side will be up 36 if you look left side it came down 36 or together i can tell therefore shearing force for cross section at 22 22 e equal to you look only one side if i look that side that is this today sign i am not considering it will come tomorrow hurry next class if i look right side that is km if i look side that is km so i will write 36 km someone will tell what about sign i will tell him sign no i am putting correct nature that is given how it is see left is coming down and right going up or now if a question is asked tell me correctly the, the shearing force at 11 and 22 without sign with the correct nature my answer will be and not my answer your answer also should be how 
at section 11 there is a shearing force of 24 kilonewton which is see like this and at section 22 there is a shearing force of 36 kilonewton how this way or here left is going up right is coming down see here left is coming down and right is going up next class i will tell you this will be called a positive shear that will be called a negative shear that is after sign convention once till you understand don't go for sign once you thoroughly understand the concept then go for sign i will make crystal clear what all confusion i have seen so many people shearing post looking left side looking right side they will tell coming from right to left no coming from right to left no coming from left to right nothing correct concept shearing post at the given section i will make it clear thoroughly later now this is the definition of or how to calculate shear post for 1 1 and 2 2 see we got both the sections opposite nature here it came like this but here it came like this now same two sections i will go for bending moment now okay one minute start now see i'll write here again consider i'll tell again consider 1 1 I will finish 1 1, then go to 2 2. Actually, I can project and write here, but okay, I will write that side only, no problem. You can write that way. See, section 1 1. 1 1. Just now we considered resultant load perpendicular to member from one side. Now you consider moment of that force. See, if I see today, I am telling using the word moment, but once you know the basic concept thoroughly, moment word will not be used, bending moment will be used. See, sir, if I consider here, if I look this side, see, there is a force of 24 here at 2.4. So, this will create a clockwise moment of 24 into 2.4. That means, it will give a moment like this. No plus minus, how much? 24 into 2.4. That will be equal to, uh, see once again, my usual into 24 into 2.4 will be 57.6 kilo newton meter from this side. Now, look that side. Again, I told, if someone asks, will ask me how much, I will tell 57.6 anti-clockwise. Then if he tells, for bending moment, there is no clockwise, anti-clockwise. I know it. You asked me moment. I told 57.6. You asked me bending moment and see what I tell. You will keep quiet then. See, start. Now, look right side. Very careful now. Don't see 2-2. Two, two. If I look right, see, left side if you see, just one force, 24 into 2.4. Over, this way, clockwise. Same hand tomorrow will become sagging. Today, I am not using sagging hogging. That's why, it will come in sign convention. One class understand. And one more thing, today's class little longer because so many concepts are there. I can't live halfway through. So everything in one class only. Start. If you look right side, there is a force of 60 here. See, when this is 4 meter, this is 2.4 meter. If I write somewhere here, see, for the section 1, 1, I will go for a little longer one now. See, this way, a force of how much? 60 kilo newton is here at what distance from here if this is 4 this is 2.4 this is 1.6 meter i am writing separately then there is another force this way or load of 76 kilo newton from here distance will be see this is total 10 meter this is 2.4 if it is 2.4 from here 7.6 or 6 meter plus another 1.6 is 7.6 meters and one more force is there see somewhere outside 40 kilo newton distance from here is how much once again from 7.6 another 3 10.6 meter therefore i will bring further down if i look right side now 60 will produce a the 60 will produce a clockwise moment of 
60 into 1.6 equal to see very crystal clear way I am explaining equal to 96 kilo newton meter later not this way you directly calculate once you get at the end of the class I will draw a safety BMD see how I draw then this 76 will produce a moment of 76 into 7.6 this way anti-clockwise an anti-clockwise moment of 76 into 7.6 equal to 577.6 no plus minus kilo newton meter and this 40 will produce a clockwise moment of 40 into sorry I forgot that into okay into 10.6 equal to 424 kilo newton meter that means see 96 uh, here 96 clockwise and one more 424 clockwise 96 and 424 are two clockwise moments that will be equal to 520 whereas 577.6 is anti-clockwise so if you take resultant of these two you can tell from that side a net moment of 520 clockwise 577.6 anti-clockwise 577.6 minus 520 is 57.6 anti-clockwise or what you can tell now you can tell the section 1 1 from this side is subjected to a moment this way of 57.6 kilo newton meter in the clockwise direction this today is the last day for telling clockwise anti-clockwise next time clockwise anti-clockwise will not come and right side anti-clockwise of 57.6 kilo newton meter now see what happens see i will use the scale now if i see this way if i hold here this 57.6 clockwise will bend the beam like this it is called sagging and if i see there this 57.6 will bend it like this or together the beam will bend like this or you can tell bend uh, that moment which will create the bending for the beam for the cross section that is called bending moment once again only one side you have to consider see this is this way that is that way or the beam will bend like this therefore you can tell bending moment for cross section at 1 1 equal to 57.6 kilo newton meter what we usually do is shearing pose I have shown you up down up down here not that way you hold here see this way that much sagging bending moment that sagging will world will come tomorrow okay. now same way consider cross section at 2 2 little fast i will tell now because why you at least that little work for you 2 2 see 2 2 is here 2 2 here. little fast i will tell see if i look right side now there is a force of 40 kilo newton distance from here is this is 1.5 meter this is 3 meter this is 4.5 meter there is a force of 76 here at what it ends at 1.5 meter or if I continue this 40 will create a moment of what clockwise moment of how much 40 into 4.5 equal to 180 kilo newton meter in the clockwise direction i am telling not bending moment will create a moment and 76 will create an uh, okay once again into that anti clockwise moment of 
equal to 24 into 8.5 is 204 clockwise 204 clockwise kilonewton meter why should i write waste time and the 60 kilonewton will produce an anti clockwise moment of 60 into 4.5 anti clockwise of 60 into 4.5 equal to 270 kilo newton meter therefore 270 anti clockwise 204 clockwise means actually i know the answer still minus 204 will be 66 in anti clockwise see i wrote here anti clockwise 66 therefore the beam cross section here from left side is subjected to an anti clockwise moment of 66 km meter from right side, a clockwise moment of 66 km meter. See what happens to the beam now. See, I will take it from here. See, here. Here, this will bend this way. This will bend this way. Together, beam will bend this way. Now, here, see. This will bend this way. This will, if I hold here, this will bend this way. Or together, the beam will bend like this. Here, we got sagging beam. Here you are getting hogging beam. So, or you can tell bending moment, therefore, for bending moment for same language I want. What I wrote? Cross section at 2 to equal to 66 kilo newton meter. Actually, later this will be positive, this will be negative. That is after I tell sign convention. Till I tell the sign convention, write correct nature. That much, see, that much hogging, hogging bending moment. So, today I explained you correctly, correctly what? How to get shearing force and bending moment. I am not told any sign, I told get in the correct nature. Next class, I will start sign convention. Very, very powerful. Every word I tell here will count. Be careful. Over. Now, next class, class number 25, I will go to sign convention and then one by one, some comparison of equilibrium and section forces and then relation between shearing force and bending moment and load intensity, then different type of loads, how the SFD will come, how the BMD will come, what is SFD, what is BMD, that all I will tell. 
that is the graphical representation of the variation of the shear force along length of beam is called SFD. Graphical representation of the variation of BM along length of beam is called BMD. Fast I told because I am telling once again. Okay, everything over. Now lastly, as I told, I will draw the SFD BMD for this one. See, first of all, I have not told you what is SFD BMD. Why I am drawing because just to give you confidence once you understand and everything is clear how easy it is just to give you a feeling for you that to give incentive oh I should learn that feeling should come and again I guarantee you show dedication hard work everything I tell follow it start right from class number one everything go through it each and every class each and everything I told is important. Study thoroughly, repeatedly go through it, practice. I will bring you as much near to me as possible. Uh, there is a limit of course. The limit you decide. So as near as possible, I will bring you. Now you see, I will fast draw SFD BMD now. So what I will do is, I got space problem here. I will remove this uh, 66 now. Space equal to, I write here, equal to 66. Kilo Newton meter sagging once again. I don't spoil that one. See. Available space I will write. This is also not required. Distance I will see there only. See, I am not good in remembering values all. Okay. Now I will draw the diagram. Just I want to calculate, calculate is not required for this one, still. Not exact to scale. Over, SFD is over. I will draw BMD now. So, a little this side, okay. Space problem, the small I will make, see. 36 actually bigger, space I want. Actually that I never make always. BMD. There is a point of counter pressure here. The distance will be 1.57894 meter, 895 meter. Actually, that much accuracy is not required. I check once again now. Hmm? I am getting different answer. I'll check once again. That is a bending out how much? 120. 120 is the bending moment divided by shearing force is 36. Now it is 3.33. See, I got it. It is 3.3333 meter. See, I suddenly had, had doubt. So I checked immediately. I can make out when this is 96, this is 120, the higher value, lesser value, it will cross the midpoint. This length is 6 meter. When this length is 6 meter, it will cross the midpoint. So the first is wrong because I took the wrong value there. I correct it. That's all. No panic, nothing. If answer is not telling. So this is 3.33 is the point of contraction. Over. You never bother. Just I went for the diagram just to show you that it is very, very easy. And see, suppose some calculation mistake comes. If you have the knowledge, you can make out immediately. The moment I wrote and looked here, suddenly I had doubt. I know it is wrong. See, checked immediately. No panic, nothing. Okay, thank you. Next class, we'll meet.